All right, I decided to undertake a huge project, and I took my Strat copy apart all the way from the very beginning of it. It used to be black with a white pickguard and a rosewood fretboard. See, I left the fretboard intact. Didn't do anything to that. But those are all the bags of all the stuff. Here's the bridge. Uh, here's all the screws for the pick guard um, and the bolts for all the the pots for the tone and volume knobs. Here's the strap holders. Here's the input. I'm gonna have to solder that bad boy back on. Uh, this is for the back plate. This is for the pickups. With the, screws and springs and stuff, neck plate, um, screws the neck back on, and then here's the knobs, this thing which I hardly ever use, whammy bar, but this comes off anyway, so no worries, uh, there's the pit guard, I sprayed that one white again, it's nice, uh, I might gloss it up with some polyurethane, not sure, have to see how that goes, because uh, it doesn't feel quite as glossy as the original, because it was spray painted. Alright, um, here's what I use for paints. Pretty cheap. I figure if I go cheap on the paint, I can go nice on the uh, poly and get it uh, to a nice shine. Indoor, outdoor paints. I use gloss, uh, black, uh, a Bajas Gold is what it called, they called it. I thought it would look good underneath the black as a sunburst. This is a clear coat. Um, that I used to cover over the paint this white. Alright, so this is my second part of my workshop. Um, there is the, I, I put it on a crate and sprayed it, as you can definitely see. Um, I used a bunch of sandpaper. I used a, an orbital sander to get the original finish off, and I used some really heavy duty sandpaper if you can see that check out how heavy that is that did the trick took the paint job right off <laughs> uh, went through like all the layers of acrylic and lacquer and whatever else they had on there um, got that all off of there straight down to the natural wood then I took this bad boy which is a, a fine sander a block I like the block because it has the little edges like that as you can see it is 180 fine by 3M. They do a good job. And uh, I liked the edges like that, the little uh, whatever that's called, parallelogram, I think that's what that's called. Hey, elementary school paid off. Hey, uh, <laughs> but I, it was able, I was able to get to all the little edges and sand it down real nice and, and fine. And then I painted it and uh, I messed up a couple times, so I used a scraper and scraped off some of the old paint. Um, it was kind of a latexy kind of enamel feel to it, so it got kind of rubbery. But uh, I was able to get that junk off of there. Um, and then I, I sprayed it today. Today it was like 57, 60 degrees in the morning, but it was really nasty, cloudy, humid, almost raining out. It's still a little bit, as you can see. A little bit wet kind of damp feeling and so when I sprayed it check this out I mean here's here's the uh, this is with one coat of polyurethane on it pretty shiny huh um, but if you can see I don't know if you can see it real well but when I sprayed it it got these crackly marks in it see that right there that's from the humidity because apparently the spray that I use doesn't like water or humidity so it's kind of bubbled up a little crackled but the cool thing is I'm gonna leave it like that I already put the poly on it so I guess I am leaving it like that I got some over here too a little bit there and a little bit over here but that's all gonna be under the pit guard so who cares right um, but the cool thing is this is the cool thing it's gonna look well let's get back into focus here it's gonna look a little bit like a relic guitar then like it's uh, a little bit old so that's cool that's what I was going for 
Um, let me show you what it's going to eventually look like. Let's go over here. Get the white pick guard. It's going to have white pickups in it. Whoops, almost tripped over my weed eater. That's no good. Uh, as you can see, I cheated and I covered up my pickups so that they wouldn't get all painted. But I was too lazy to cut the wires and resolder them. Shoot me, whatever. Um, but this is what it's going to look like. Let's see if I can get back far enough and get down nice enough here. It's going to look something like that. So it's going to look pretty sweet. Nice little sunburst here. Not bad for a do-it-yourself project. Um, oh, here's the polyurethane I used. I showed everything else I used. Um, Cabot, they make some good stuff. Um, uh, apparently I had to go with the water-based polyurethane because of the paint I used. I, I asked the people at uh, the good old depart the hardware store and they said use that. Don't use the oil base because it will pull away from the guitar. So, um, yeah. So that this is going to be awesome. When it's all said and done, i got about three or four more coats of poly to put on it before it's uh, guitar ready. And then I can put it all back together and uh, it'll be fun. I think I'm going to clear coat this pit guard. It's kind of rough. It's got a little bit of roughage to it. I don't know if you can see that. See the little bit of rough spots here and there. I'm going to put a little clear coat on that get that nice and shiny that'll be fun and then after I'm done with uh, like the fifth or sixth coat of poly on this bad boy then I'm gonna get some uh, polish it's uh, some wax and I'm just gonna uh, put that on there and just get shine it up make it look good get that last final coat on there so yep it's gonna look awesome I'm, I'm liking it already all right